We will be moving to melee, and we'll get people on the call for the matches uh, who are way better at Smash Melee than I am, because I am, uh, if you had a scale of 1 to 10 for melee, I'd probably be a negative 1 or 2. So let's go ahead and call this match. We have Elden. No, we don't have Elden. We have Kaishin versus... I've been saying Elden like 10 times, so I, I think I threw off my friend Gran over here. Uh, we have Kaishin on Rosalina. And we have TRMP, Turnip, Massey. No, Turnip, Prof Dog, excuse me. He's right. Oh. No, that's Kaishin. Yeah, it's Kaishin and the... Uh, Did he hit safe? No. No, this is... This is, uh, Prof Dog Kaishin. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. This is Prof Dog Kaishin. Uh, we'll get that update in the scoreboard as soon as we can. This is Loser Semis. Yes, Melee is still going. Melee is still going on. Yep. I was, uh, I was actually just explaining that, like, we'd be moving to melee as soon as this tournament's over. Just to recap some of today, we had, uh, PM Roulette All-Star Doubles, Random Teammate, Random Stocks, four Random Stocks in All-Star Mode, and we had Star-Lord and Raven take that one. Those teams were stacked. It was uh, ADV and LaFeau uh, against them in the uh, Grand Final Single Elimination Tournament. But uh, we had PM Singles, Project M Singles. It was Spin Lord versus... I even read that. Like, oh, Passion okay. exclaiming his disgust at what just happened. Sorry about that. Um, we had OES Spin Jump versus OES Star Lord for Grand Finals. Yeah, for uh, PM singles. We had Smash 4, 4v4s, so much fun for everyone involved. And that was won by Star Lord, France, uh, Maddie, and uh, shoot, uh, Elden, excuse me. That was, that was a great stack team. They were awesome group of four. They lost it, they beat uh, myself, Kaishin, Jay Breeze, and uh, ADV in the grand finals. Who, who carried that team? Which one? Uh, all of them. Like they were really good. Oh yeah, all, I mean they're four solid players. And I was I was who mentioning to one S Bob. I was mentioning to one S Bob like it reflected in the singles bracket too because a lot of people on that four team who lost lost once again in singles to those individual players when they cross pass. ADV did amazing at 4v4, to answer your question about who carried who. But anyway, regardless, you know what? That's I going to be... I wasn't calling anybody out. It's going to be a win for Prof Dog. You saw earlier in that match, Kaishin, a little bit of disgust at a, a strange interaction. This is not Grand Finals. This is not Winner's Finals. This is not Loser's Finals. This is a best of three and Loser's Semis. So this uh, this could be it for Kaishin. Prof Dog starting to get his revenge one game at a time. One more. And the Turnip Esports rep from Greenville will take down Charleston's best Rosalina. Quite a crowd gathered behind the players. This is Tech Chase 1 in Charleston, South Carolina, Goose Creek Suburbs. Forward smash by Kaishin to read the uh, neutral wake up from Mario. Ooh, Kaishin probably wanted the Luma there to get a quick hit on uh, 
on uh, Prof Dog as it came back, but instead Prof Dog decides, you know what, Luma, no, you're not gonna get that head, you're just going to die. I have Mathis joining me on, uh, or Maddie rather, wait. Massey. Massey? Massey. Man, it's just too <laughs> no, it's many mad names yeah. in tr uh, well, this tournament. You know, it's my last name, so I figured it was awfully appropriate. It is. <laughs> so. But, yeah, uh, this Mario Rosalina matchup. I, I play with Prof Dog, like, we play back at home. Right. In Greenville. And uh, he's he's having a hard time getting in right now. Like I'm sure you touched on that, but Rosalina is just keeping him out. Uh, they played early in bracket. Kation is actually the one right that knocked him out in the losers. first place. So, so this is a it's like a revenge match. It for is. Prof Dog and this Prof Dog started this game off very well. Sure Unfortunately, did. got a rather silly uh, <laughs> knockout. He got outplayed for what it's worth. But he's holding onto this stock rather well, taking a little bit of damage there. Uh, Prof Dog really needs to sort of control this stock if he wants a chance of winning this match. Right. Both that of these characters like the battlefield like setup here on uh, Dreamland, mm -hmm. but it's just Kaishin is controlling the platform just a little bit better than Mario. Right, does. definitely a skill matchup in that regard. And Kaishin getting some revenge for that first game. <laughs> Luma sent into orbit. Is that a shooting star? Make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> I got to grab here. Does, does Rosalina have any killing throws? Uh, you play no. Rosalina, right? By far, no. She has to have someone at like 150 to okay. kill with her back throw in optimal situation. I got you. Uh, she does have a setup throw with her up air, but that's even unreliable at best. That relies on a enemy error. Right. So what Prop Dog is doing here, every time he gets a grab, he's always going for the back throw. And that's... It, it knocks Luma away and creates a little bit of space for him to get in later in the match. He finally took the first stock here at 106%. It's an uphill battle. Uphill battle for sure, especially against Kaishin's Rosalina. Yeah. Against a lot of our characters, you would have more of a chance. Still an uphill battle, but Rosalina can recover from practically any situation at <laughs> lower like, than 50 HP yep. or damage. The only thing Parker has, or Prof Dog, excuse me, has going for him now is that Rosalina is very light and he's got a lot of rage. So I think that his best bet is going to be get up on the platforms and land like an up smash or something. But he's not going to get the chance. So that is 1-1. One, one. Kaishin, TRMP Prof Dog. I'm Gavin. I'm joined by TRMP Massey. Yep, yep. How's it going, guys? A teammate of Mr. Prof Dog out here. <laughs> he's feeling it. He's doing it. He's pretty happy right now. You can tell, like, these guys are enjoying this game. Kaishin, I mean, I know him well. He's We ha we play weeklies every week in Charleston at Fight Club. And, uh, I mean, dude's always cheerful about the game. I mean, he gets frustrated, sure, but yeah. he... <laughs> it's, it's for he good doesn't, He doesn't tilt himself down or doesn't show it. Yeah. Uh, though it looks He's like, very vocal. He's being vocal oh, right now. You definitely. can see it. <laughs> and does, uh... I asked every player who plays against Kaishin this, and one day... He's gonna watch a VOD and he's gonna like yell at me. But I always ask like, does uh, Prof Dog do well against vocal players? Vocal players? Yes. Yeah, yeah, he like getting in his head? <laughs> no, he's, if anyone's ever trash talking, he's gonna give it right back. He's a lot of fun to play with every day. So one of Parker's favorite things to do, and I don't see a lot of Mario's doing, is approaching without down air. It's a it's a multi-hit move, and if you don't shield the whole thing, Mario is going to end up in a better position than you. And not to mention, when you're playing a multi-hit, uh, when you're using multi-hit attacks against Rosalina, they just are so good at knocking Luma out of place, That's, allowing follow-ups. Yes, that is exactly what I did in my match against Elden. It's mm -hmm. like, every time I saw Luma come back, like, as Yoshi, it's always, all right, down air or back air. Like, I've got to get that Luma away from Rosalina. Not said... Prof Dog's been using a lot of those down A's, and we just saw Luma KO, but he didn't really get the distance I needed, and he took a lot more damage than he probably should have. So yeah. while it remains a good option, uh, Kaishin's dealing with it extremely well. He is, he is. But uh, Luma's back, the world's deadliest pillow, back for revenge. <laughs> She's so cute, you feel bad killing her. Oh, Cape Luma. Be done. Oh, that's something Pork has been working on, so that'd be killed off the top. He didn't get it there, but I was glad to see him use it. Prof Dog going for that up smash, Mario's best kill move in my opinion, oh, easily. Oh man, that up smash, he gets so much mileage out of it. If you watch any of Prof Dog's matches, he's always using Oh yeah, we were mentioning it earlier. I oh, the stage spike dash attack, it's gonna be enough to take the stock. Let's get... <laughs> okay, so if Kaishin has any hope for this one, he has to kill Prof Dog uh, about 10 seconds ago. <laughs> yep, 
Mark disjointed is Luma. He's, he's trying to get Luma away. He's just doing and, as much damage as he can. And you know, like, I, a lot of Rosalinas will think, oh, I can just keep on using my disjoint Luma. I'll kill Fireballs all day. Mm -hmm. Well, you really want. You have, you won't. You have 52 health. Um, it doesn't matter much, but that 12 extra damage later, you're going to lose your Luma in a, not a very prime spot in the match. It really is. Especially against uh, Prof Dog and his down air. Like, he can kill Luma just, like, on approach. You don't Fan see that a whole Fantastic lot. near from Kaishin. Uh, one of the more reliable, fast kill moves that Rosalina has. That is something a lot of players, including me, struggle with, is that the hitboxes with Luma just go everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, it's 300. And a lot of them are very masked, too. Because... <laughs> Parker's gone. This is why you never take a Mario to Battlefield. Like, whenever I, whenever I play Prof Dog, I make sure that we're never on a stage of platforms like this for that mm -hmm. exact reason Mario up there. Kaishin not having the luxury of a training partner in Prof Dog. Uh, doesn't, you know, I mean, as, uh, as amazing as that air game platform game was for Prof Dog, uh, Kaishin's at 47%. Didn't do as much damage as he could have. Uh, really exactly intimidated right. Kaishin, but. You're exactly right. <coughs> you can hear Kaishin shouting in the background. Being that oh, Prof Dog chooses not to go for Luma there. Luma's in a state of helplessness. I think a back air would have killed him, honestly. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, it's your choice. Prof Dog going opting for momentum instead. I can't say I blame him. It's one one right now. He's got to get something just to take that momentum back from Rosalina. Luma dead again, and Rosalina at 90 damage. This is a danger zone for Kaishin. Little Porter going for a forward air dunk and missing. And Kaishin knows he cannot. Launch star back onto the map. He must hit the ledge. That's he will get caped. That's oh, the slide. Can Kaishin live? Oh, he's living. He's living. Kaishin can make it back, but he has to take damage to do it. Back throw by Kaishin. Good positioning for him. What can you do with it? Forward Ooh. smash from the multi hit. Like you mentioned, it puts you in such a great position. It does. And Prof Dog made the most out of it. Kaishin. That was has it. been that slain Prof by Prof Dog. Prof Dog gets his revenge. Man, I'm happy to see that. I want to see Prof Dog move on. <laughs> Kaishin, very 